What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So I've seen the first two episodes of Days of Our Lives Beyond Salem. And I do want to say that um, it sucks that some of you guys don't have access to the Beyond Salem series. Um, I feel for you guys because it's been great so far. Don't mean to rub it in your face, but it has been great. So like I said, I've seen the first two episodes. And man, I'm, I'm addicted to it. I almost wanted to go into episode three. Didn't really have time though, but uh, you know, I'm definitely going to watch the last three episodes of the week when they come available. I meant to do a, um, you know, sort of a, like a, I don't know, what is this, like a review recap type thing uh, yesterday for the first episode, but uh, I'm going to just do it for like the first two combined. Uh, but we're not really talking about like everything on the show, we're just going to talk about really hope in. Uh, Steve Burton, uh, who plays Michaels, his character named Michaels on the show. So, uh, first though, before we start, um, get this video a like, definitely hit the like button for me, share the video, subscribe to the channel, any comments I got, definitely put them below. If you want to, uh, and if you want to donate to the channel, hit that super thanks button below the video, I much appreciate it, y'all. Now, so, in the end of Monday's episode, so on the first episode of the second chapter of second season um michaels is this guy played by steve burton uh steve burton was going around uh <laughs> uh kidnapping people so he kidnapped john first i believe uh i forgot the order how it went uh i think he kidnapped john first uh and then he kidnapped steve later um it was like a fire um trip at trip's house um, with his brother and sister. We, we got a new Stephanie, by the way, Stephanie Johnson. Uh, and she's pretty cute. Um, we got a new Stephanie. I think she's supposed to be on the regular day series later in the year. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, so they got kidnapped. Um, and he was, I think there's something going on. So like, okay, let me back up a little bit. So Hope is in Montreal, so she's got a home up there in Canada. Um, oddly enough, I think Canadians came and watched me out Salem right now, but yeah, but Hope is in uh, Montreal. And Sierra and Ben came up there to visit her for the first time since Sierra had the baby. And Sierra was mad at first because Hope hasn't really been there for Sierra, like, you know, visiting her or whatever. Um, and she's been trying to figure out why. And, um, you know, Hope gave her like a little excuse. I think she's doing something else. She said she was like training kids at a figure skating rink as well. But we know that she's doing some other stuff uh, that she just didn't tell Sierra. And then the next day, she gets a knock on the door while they're having breakfast. And the knock on the door was from Michaels, who's played by uh, uh, Steve Burton, who just got through kidnapping uh, John and Steve. So. And, uh, <laughs> and this was, you know, this was funny because when he comes to the door, they start kissing before they, she even introduces him. And I'm like, this is wild. So I was going to make a video on that yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to, like I said. And so today, uh, he makes lunch for him. They have lunch together. Uh, it sounded pretty good. So it was like shrimp and, sh shrimp and uh, crabs were in it. I was like, man, I have some good seafood for lunch. Uh, so he cooked it for them, and they liked it. And he was going to make dessert and everything. But um, Sierra and Ben were going to walk around a little bit. But before they even got a chance to do that, Steve was on his knee, and he proposed to Hope. So, um, yeah, it's it's crazy, man. So she accepted it, and I guess they're going to have a wedding this week because I saw, like, a preview for tomorrow's episode. They're supposed to be setting up the... The ceremony and stuff so this is crazy now while all this is happening Bo is in heaven and he's watching it like he's live streaming it and it's, it is it's funny how they got it set up loretta devane divine i mean she's a special guest star on the show and she's been up there i think like kind of like she's up there managing Bo or something like that and uh and they're bickering a lot you know over the tv and um and Bo wants to go right through that screen and he doesn't trust uh, Michaels at all. So he already knows there's something up with the guy. And he wants to say fancy face. But, uh, uh, and I know we're going to have that reunion, but uh, I want to see how, like, how they get to it. And he's, so, 
he wanna wants to get there, but he's got to go ask the man upstairs, and that's what he's gonna do next. And I guess that's to actually put himself in a situation where he could save hope. I don't know if he's gonna be in ghost form or he's gonna be in human form. That's what I want to see. Um, I hope he's in human form because when they had him as ghost form on Days of My Lives, I didn't like it so much. But I hope they have him like in human form, man. So we'll see what happens um, with that. But uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. There's a lot of other stuff going on. It's um, uh, Stefano Demira's daughter, Megan, is actually, uh, she was actually in a storyline with Hope back in, uh, I think it was like 1984 or something like that. And uh, she's still alive. And she was the one who, I guess, programmed the kidnappings because she's trying to get these prisms and stuff like that. It's a long story. Y'all have to, I'm not going to review all that right now, but um, that's what's going on here. It's all about these prisms and stuff like that. And um, and uh, it's, it's very good, though. I'm telling y'all, it's very, very good, man. But I'm going to come back hopefully tomorrow and update y'all on what happened in episode three. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If not, guys, I'm going to try to combine episodes three and four on, on Thursday or something like that. Let's see how this goes, man. But, uh, uh, if you like this, uh, this video, man, give this video a like, definitely hit that like button for me. Uh, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Any comments y'all got on this, uh, let me know. Steve Burton is fat. He's fascinating in this. I'm loving him in this show. The only thing about, I'm going to tell you this before I go, the only thing that I that I think I'm going to, you know, hate the most after, like, Friday's episode when the second chapter is over. I wish they would do these more regularly, like, at least once a month or something like that, because these are very addicting. Like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is actually better than the regular days of our last show. <laughs> it's actually, like, it rem it's like it's got the feel of, like, an, an old school days of our last episode, like, from the 80s or something like that. Like, I I'm loving the whole mystery behind everything i'm loving it man i wish they could do this more often man it's just see this is where man you wish nbc would come up like with a spinoff of days of our lives or something like that so we can see something like this on a regular basis but you know man they, they should make days of our lives like a half hour and then do the spinoff as the other half hour or something like that i think that stuff will work out really well man um because beyond salem is great it is great, man. But uh, thank y'all. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, hit the thanks button below. Thank y'all for watching, man. Uh, after news, the light.